New at five, one of the most powerful women in Governor John Hickenlooper's administration is stepping down. The chief of staff, Roxanne White, has helped shape Colorado over the past four years. And Call 7 investigator Teresa Moschetta talking one on one with Roxanne White just a short time ago. And Roxanne White always planned to leave after the governor's first term. She's taken a job as CEO of the Nurse Family Partnership National Service Office. It's based here in Denver. She says at the end of the day, she was called back to her roots to work with vulnerable young families to provide health care and end poverty. But she's got her hands full until November. White tells me she still has to get the budget finished, set goals for each department in the governor's office, and solidify the governor's policy agenda. Her influence in the governor's office is seldom questioned, but she will debate which decisions she has directly impacted. Is it fair to say you are one of the most powerful women in Colorado? You know, um... I hope that what I have been is the most powerful voice for people who oftentimes don't have a voice in this building. What has your role been in terms of advising the governor on, on some of the really important things that he's decided in our state? You know, I think one thing that um, people oftentimes uh, think they understand and they don't really understand is that I'm an independent, unaffiliated voter. And I think that what I have brought to this office is um, that perspective about what is good for Colorado. And White tells me her most unexpected role as chief of staff called on her past experience as a minister and social worker, helping the governor through many visits to hospital bedsides and many funerals. She says she hopes her legacy will be a better reserve in the state budget, help for the poor, and job creation. I'm Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta.